everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today, yeah, as you can see, I have another uh, do bears of headsets on my desk here and in today's video we're gonna be checking out uh, how does the uh, HyperX Cloud 2s compare to the Steel Series Arctis Primes. Now there is a price difference of around 30 euros or so, the HyperX Cloud 2s are around 90 euros and the uh, Steel Series uh, Arctis Primes uh, cost around 120 euros. Uh, both of them you can find down below in the description uh, through my Amazon affiliate link, you can buy them. But um, yeah, uh, how have how has my time been with these headsets and uh, you know, which one should you get, right? Now, both are pretty reasonably priced overall. I do like the design job on the Steel Series Arctis Primes a little bit more uh, than the Cloud 2s. Because uh, Cloud 2s are decent headphones, but they could look a little bit better at around 90 euros. We also discovered that Arctis Primes have built in controls um, into the headset, uh, while the Cloud 2 controls are built into the cable. A little bit easier, I guess, to quickly navigate uh, or change uh, settings on the Steel Series. And talking about cables, the Cloud 2s have a USB connection while the Steel Series offers a 3.5mm. And um, yeah, to be perfectly honest here, I had major issues uh, hooking the Steel Series 3.5mm to my pretty much brand new PC on my wall here, right? Uh, it didn't recognize the headset at first. Finally, I got the headset working, but the mic didn't work. Then I had to find another PC. Then that PC weirdly had a fuzzy noise on the mic, which was odd. So I found another PC, then it worked perfectly. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I have issues like this, um, but it's perhaps, I'm pretty sure it's um, stuff on my end, right? Uh, other than that, you know, 3.5 millimeter is a really nice connection or connector to, you know, hook it up to pretty much any device out there without any real issues, right? Well, that should be the case, but wasn't for me. Uh, so yeah, for that reason, I always tend to love USB connections or wireless uh, connections uh, over 3.5 millimeter. Now coming to some other stuff, uh, both pairs use a leather type material to fit over your ears. And I have to admit the Arctis Primes are a lot more, a lot more comfier uh, than the Cloud 2s. The Arctis Primes just like melt over your head and uh, feel very nice. Uh, whereas the Cloud 2s just feel a little bit cheap and boring. Uh, not a lot of effort put into it or the design, right? Uh, but the price is also cheaper. But from a price standpoint, uh, I'd say Cloud 2s just feel uh, like something at around 50 euro range instead of 90 plus. Now coming to sound quality, the microphone, I guess the overall feel of the headphones, right? I have to say that the Steel Series is definitely a better choice here. I felt a little bit deeper bass on the primes and I could distinguish different sound effects better than on the Cloud 2s. I also felt that the primes were a little bit louder, although not by much. The Arctis Prime series has been developed with some of the um, top pro gamers out there and the sound quality is tuned in line with the Arctis Pro series which um, simply means the Prime series has the same drivers as the more expensive Arctis Pro, which is very nice. Now, also, they are using uh, these nice noise cancelling leather type foam ear cushions and are definitely better than on the Cloud 2s. And you can quickly tuck the mic into the headset while on the Cloud 2s, you would have to physically remove it and place it in a safe place to not lose it. Also, they both use noise cancelling microphone here, which uh, helps to reduce the unwanted noise of, you know, other sounds around you, like a TV or people talking next to you, which is great in those circumstances, but I'm pretty sure if we want to make YouTube videos or stream on Twitch, we usually make sure to do this in a quiet room. So it, it, it wouldn't matter that much uh, in the end. But as I've uh, come to know this uh, over the years, things that uh, have AI or you know noise cancellation stuff built into the microphones 
uh, means that the overall quality of the microphone tends to be lower than those that do not have this technology built into. Uh, which is uh, yeah a little bit sad. I did a little bit testing here so in the next clip um, just listen to this uh, sound quality of the, both of these microphones and also the noise cancellation working in full effect. Alright so time to test out which one of these microphones actually sounds better and uh, yeah how are they overall uh, compared to their uh, price range right so let's kick things off with the steel series artist primes and then let's uh, switch it over to the hyperx cloud 2s All right so let's put the steel series artist primes on my head here really really comfortable here uh, maybe it doesn't look as good on my head as yours uh, but anyway yeah right now you're hearing my voice coming from the Canon 70D which is hooked up to the Rode Mic Pro and now let's switch it over to the Artist Primes. So this is what the quality of the microphone is and I mean I have uh, tested all sorts of um, uh, headsets uh, at this price range and uh, a little bit uh, more expensive as well and yeah it could be a little bit better but it does have noise cancelling uh, stuff built into it so it should be a little bit better option for somebody who's in a crowded place or maybe somebody is watching a TV next to you or something like that, right? So we're going to be checking that out in a second as well. And we're going to be comparing it to the HyperX Cloud 2s. So let's uh, switch over to the Cloud 2s and hear how the microphone is on that. All right, so now you should be hearing my voice coming from the Cloud 2s, which, uh, yeah, is not as good as the SteelSeries Arctis Prime, uh, but it's def definitely not bad, right? But it, yeah, at around 90 euros, it could be better. But if you can get it uh, at a bargain, like 60 bucks or something like that, uh, yeah, it might not be that bad. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's... Um, Put on a music, uh, let's start playing a uh, song here so you could actually see uh, how the Arctis Primes versus the Cloud 2s uh, fares in a really uh, loud place, right? Alright, so now a song is playing really loudly, pretty much like somebody maybe is watching really loudly a TV next to you. Uh, you shouldn't be hearing me that well. I can switch it over to Rode Micro as well. It is pretty loud here. But. Let's see how the SteelSeries Artist Primes with its noise cancelling software fares. Alright, so now I'm on the SteelSeries Artist Primes and again I can switch it to Rode Mic Pro and switch it back. So, I mean it does a pretty decent job, right? And uh, yeah, if you're interested in uh, noise cancelling stuff, this might be for you. Anyway, that's gonna conclude my quick little mic test. Yeah, again, coming, uh, coming back to the noise cancelling feature. It definitely lowers the overall quality of the microphone. Uh, I've tested uh, this thing out uh, with another uh, company's headphones, which were the same headphones, but one of them had a noise cancellation mic in it, uh, built into it, uh, had the same mic rate. And uh, even if I disabled the effect, it wasn't as good quality as the one that didn't have any noise cancelling. So yeah, you just have to ask yourself, you know, how necessary is noise cancelling for you. For some it might be a good reason to buy, for others it might not. Anyway, my final score for the SteelSeries Arctis Primes is going to be a 9 out of 10. And for the HyperX Cloud 2s, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. And um, yeah, I mean, both are a decent pair of headsets, uh, but the Cloud 2 should be priced at around 70 euros instead to get the same price and quality ratio as the Arctis Primes at around 120 euros. The Prime audio quality comfortability on your head and the mic were all better than the Cloud 2s. And uh, yeah, if you yourself need noise cancelling mic, then they are very well priced here. So yeah, that's going to kind of wrap up my video here. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a uh, thumbs up and uh, maybe subscribe as well. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the um, comment section and I'll try to answer them. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.